What AI does is something a lot more interesting. And that is because, and I've kind of alluded to this without explicitly stating this, but what's really powerful about AI today is that it can take unstructured information and create a reasonably accurate representation of activity across the ecosystem using that unstructured information. Take a very simple example. You know, think of the travel industry. Uh, all of you, you know, you've traveled here, and at some point or the other, you've booked your own trip for your holiday. Uh, travel is a very fragmented ecosystem. You start dreaming on Instagram, you know, review hotels on TripAdvisor, then you book on Booking.com, and then when you're actually at that place, you're using Google Maps to navigate, and none of these players talk to each other. And nobody's, you know, managing your itinerary in a way that helps you do the right thing at the right time. But with AI, it's possible, even today, if you just throw up all of your different, you know, PDFs, ticket bookings, plans, spreadsheets into one uh, AI tool, it's possible to now start getting really customized itinerary in terms of what you should be doing based on the choices you have made and how you should be def defining your itinerary. And that's a, a really early stage of what coordination without consensus looks like because I call it coordination without consensus because as a user, I can throw out outputs from different tools into a common AI system and see those things interact with each other and give me a clear picture. 